and welcome to this new video on my DIY remote control project. Uh, the one that you are seeing is the final iteration of this version of the console. I made some changes into the, the chassis as well as into the electronic in order to resolve a couple of issues, but that's it. Uh, before to start going a little bit more into detail, I really would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up to the video if you like it, and to hit the bell in order to stay tuned. So, first of all, the chassis, as you can see, uh, I have reprinted in black uh, the channel that were, if you remember, different colors uh, for what I was calling the rainbow version of the, chassis, of, the, of the console. I've printed also the labels here uh, for all the channels as well as for the bay here. The nomenclature of this part is the one of Cubase. Uh, uh, what I would like to, under to underline is that these are not uh, uh, paper, uh, these are really inlay uh, uh, printed in plastic with my, uh, with my uh, printer. And I've also printed in red the uh, master here in order to distinguish it from all the other standard chat. There is a part of the chassis which is quite empty, is this one. Uh, let's say that uh, for uh, in, in the Mac control unit here you have some of these buttons. I decided to, be, to leave it like this because uh, I find very uh, useful and very ergonomic, if you like, uh, to have everything arranged here and uh, below my fingers. Uh, um, maybe in the future I will put something here, but not in this version. As I said, this is the uh, final uh, iteration. Another important uh, change that I did is in the electronic. If you remember, I've encountered during the uh, testing session some uh, uh, instability, which I was uh, uh, thinking was related to uh, some issue of uh, uh, overheat inside the bay, which was in fact uh, true, but it was not the only issue. Uh, there was also an issue of capacity of the voltage regulator, which were not uh, uh, capable enough. Uh, the one of the uh, display, the 5 volt uh, voltage regulator, was supposed by specification to supply until 2 amperes, and it was 1 ampere and a half. And I discovered that this was creating sometimes some some issue, okay? But even more, uh, the problem was uh, in the power regulator of the uh, uh, of the uh, of the main bay here, uh, which was in fact uh, uh, an MAX uh, providing 500 milliampere, so half of an ampere. I thought that it was enough, and in fact for the MCU probably that it was enough, uh, uh, but not enough when you have all the lights or uh, switch on here uh, these ones there are there are some some part of the some moments of the work session in which you are using several services here so you have several lights switched on here and all of this together was really bringing the consumption very next to the limit of the regulator and i have observed also some peak in some in some moment uh, so at the end i decided to change it and i put a new regulator which is capable of one ampere 3.3 volts one ampere while I was doing this work of uh, redesign, I decided to uh, redesign this part of the system from an electronics perspective. Uh, originally, all the power supply was embedded into the main uh, PCB that you see here. Uh, uh, but now uh, I've decided to modular, modularize it a bit and I've created the, a dedicated uh, power supply uh, PCB that you can see here. There you go. So here you can see what I was mentioning. Here you have the new 5 volt, 2 ampere uh, power uh, regulator for uh, the uh, uh, voltage regulator, sorry, for the display. And here you have the 3.3 volt, 1 ampere for uh, the whole system. These are the connectors, the 9 volt connectors supplying all the channels. The very last one here is a uh, 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 5 volt connector for uh, uh, the display which is powered by this uh, regulator. This vertical one connect to the main board, which stay on top uh, and is provided 3.3 uh, uh, volt to the whole system. Uh, this one is the 9 volt input and this one is the uh, 9 volt supply for the, for the fan. With this new power board uh, and the fact of having put the correct regulator on the system, uh, uh, I've really reached a very good level of stability. 
I've managed to have uh, uh, even a four hour session work without any issues. So I really consider this problem solved or at least uh, for the vast majority solved. That's it for this uh, version of the system. What I'm doing now is uh, uh, working on the new version. The one that you are seeing here is uh, the, uh, mm, the breadboard prototypation of the uh, channel here. And what I'm doing here is I'm implementing this uh, display that I will put in every channel in order to resolve uh, an issue that I was mentioning uh, uh, some, uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, a couple of videos ago, which is the fact that the name of the, the tracks is displayed into the main display here, but it's not present here. And from an ergonomic perspective, it's not very effective. I really found this issue very annoying. That's the reason why I decided to work on the new iteration of the system. Uh, this is uh, a, an OLED. Uh, 0 0.96 inch uh, uh, RGB uh, with 60 65,000 colors uh, and for a minimum here I will try to display the name of the track. I will see if it's possible to do this. As you can understand this change will require some uh, work uh, in order to re-prototype the thing. Uh, uh, will uh, require some money because uh, it's a new iteration so I will have to uh, reproduce all the PCB as usual some will come uh, uh, sorry this will come with some of the component assembled and some not assembled so I will have also to reassemble the, the missing component by hands and this is honestly speaking uh, uh, a little bit uh, uh, annoying so it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some money but at the end I hope that with all the display here the new version of the console will really be uh, uh, much more uh, effect. That's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video in which I hope we will have the new version uh, of the console. Cheers!